It was a family. Look, life don't last forever. They say live it to the fullest. But what exactly does that mean? Does that mean doing everything under the sun? As Solomon put it, that same thing doing under the sun, denying self of no pleasures, as Simon, S Solomon spoke about, only to learn that all of that is meaningless. Sure, time here on earth doesn't last forever. So how exactly should we live our lives with the time that we have here? What if there was a plan for our lives? What if we were actually created with a purpose? What does that purpose look like for you? Now, when you think of the word purpose, it's a meaning. It's a reason for it. It's something for us to not take lightly. The way we live our lives, it's almost as if we take life for granted and we're taking it lightly. Perhaps the purpose that, the purpose God created us for was a serious one. A significant reason. How many of us actually find out what that purpose is? Which is why he created us. How many of us actually really cares? Those who don't really care are the ones that says, I'm living my life to the fullest. I'm going to live today like it's my last. I'm living my best life. Can ultimately lead down a path of destruction. In the book of John 10, speaks about the wide path, the narrow gate. The wide path leads down, leads to destruction. It says the narrow gate leads to life. And to think about the wide path, the wide gate, whatever you want to call it, and the narrow gate is everybody finds the wide gate or the wide path to a point as if we were placed on it from the beginning. And if that was the case, many of us have got accustomed to going down that path. But the path of, the path that leads to the narrow gate, in the word it says, very few find it. Also in John's 10, John 10, Jesus said, I came to give life and give it more abundantly. So if the wide path leads to destruction, but the narrow gate leads to life, Jesus said, I came to give life and give it more abundantly. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but it sounds as if the narrow gate 
is the path that we should choose. I came to give life up and give it more abundantly. For this abundant life, it, it sounds like the narrow gate is the path to go in. Now, Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to bring you hope in our future. If the wide path or the wide gate leads to destruction, at the same time, God says, I have a plan for you. But the narrow gate says, I came it leads to life. Many of us are on a path of destruction. All the promises that God has given us, we do not have access or receive those promises when we are on a path of destruction. I came to give life and life more abundantly. This abundant life, a lot of times we we put a label on it. The money, the things. Granted, he has his rewards and that may comes with, you know, earthly reward, but he said King, seek seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. But we're talking about the wide and the narrow gate. We're set, we're, we're motivated by the earthly rewards. And that's all we get. And we're satisfied, happy to a point that we boast, gloat about it. But when we after heavenly rewards oftentimes we receive both heaven and earthly rewards now the bible says that where your heart is that is also where your treasure is but at the same time it says for us not it says for us not to be paraphrasing after earthly things because they ruin. In other words, it's not it's of no value. However, the earthly rewards are. So for I have a for I know the plans I have for you if the narrow gate leads to life. Jesus, I come to give life and more abundantly. The wide gate leads to destruction. We should choose the narrow gate. Although it's not going to be easy all the time. The wide gate isn't easy all the time either, but at least we know at the end of the path of throughout the narrow gate and the destination where we'll end up going down a narrow path is life and more abundantly. But the destination to the wide gate is destruction. We're going to go through that and sub, uh, uh, subse subsequently what's going to end up happening is we're going to come to an end of the road where that life must come to an end so I want to challenge us today every single day that God wake us up another day we have another opportunity tomorrow is in promise Today, let's make the decision to walk through the narrow gate. Go 
down a path of the narrow gate because everyone must die. You can choose not to die now in Christ and die in the end because you think you're living now. We die today to Christ in every single day. We have life now and we have life in the end. Choose Christ. Don't continue to choose this world, all the things in it. Let's not limit ourselves to what we can obtain here on earth. Because this earth will not last forever. And what we don't want is us dying for one to the things because we are enslaved to it. And we don't want to die alone with those things when that time, the expiration date occurs. Choose Christ. You have life now. You have life when all of this fade away. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Without Jesus, you have no access to this life. You have no um, eternal destiny other than hell. So choose Christ today. He laid down his life for us all. But only a few of us believe and only a few of us receive him. So a few of us, only a few of us receive life. Again, down a narrow path leads to life. The wide path, the wide gate leads to destruction. Let's be wise in our decision making right now let Christ know you know what I've lived my life I want to live it and I know you do not approve of it right now I confess that I live a wayward life a sinful life not even caring whatever you've done he say come to him as we are go to him as you are right now and let him know I don't want to live that life anymore. I don't want to choose that path anymore. I choose you. I believe you lay down your life on the cross for my sins. And right now, I receive you to be my personal Lord and Savior. Right now, I repent of my sins. And I ask that you will forgive me. You speak about the narrow gate. I want that narrow path. I want the narrow path that leads to that narrow gate that lead, leads to the life that you created me to have. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, but plans to bring you hope in the future. I believe you have a plan for me. Forget my plans. If they are not aligned with yours, I want to live your plan, your way. Surrender, fully surrender to you daily. Submit it to the will for your life for my life and I make the decision to live for you from this day forward I trust you with my life and I thank you for laying down your life for me thank you for giving me you I love you in Jesus name family narrow path leads to life Narrow gate leads to life. Wide gate leads to destruction. In that path, everyone finds it. But only a few find the narrow path, the narrow gate. So this gate, considering very few find it, obviously is due to a choice. And it, it, considering it, it leads to life, it must be something special about this path. 
let's choose this path that leads to life and walk away from the path that leads to destruction. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.